This amazing attraction is owned and run by S&D Leisure Limited, and we hope you'll enjoy your flight today. The Bournemouth Balloon is a tethered helium balloon, safely connected to the ground at all times by a 50-ton steel cable. A winch will let out the cable as we rise and pull it back in as we land. Your pilot will be in control of these activities. The Health Online Bournemouth Balloon is 100 feet tall and has an envelope of 22 meters in diameter containing 6,000 cubic liters of helium. It'll take us approximately four minutes to reach our maximum altitude of 500 feet, meaning on a clear day you can see up to 25 miles of this vibrant area, voted the happiest place to live in 2007, with seven miles of award-winning sandy beaches and an average of just over seven hours of summer sunshine per day, it's easy to see why. Bournemouth's a relatively young town, founded in 1810 by a retired army captain, Louis Tregonwell, who built the first house here as a holiday villa. It still stands today as part of the Royal Exeter Hotel, which is next to the lower gardens, close to where you boarded the balloon. You can look out over the sea to Pool Bay. You'll see Bournemouth Pier, which is due south. This will be our main reference point during the flight. There's been a pier here since 1856. Immediately in front of the pier is an area known as Pier Approach, a great centre for fun and entertainment. Today it offers popular bars, restaurants and a theatre actually on the pier. You should be able to pick out the Wave Swinger, Victorian Carousel and other attractions owned and operated by S&D Leisure Limited. To the right of Pier Approach is a white building with two domed towers. This is the Oceanarium, containing marine species from all over the world. To the right of the ocean area is a large red building known as the Bournemouth International Centre, which opened in 1984. Thank you. It hosts major conferences, theatre shows and music concerts. As we look left to the other side of Pier Approach, we see an outdoor arena designed for various open-air performances. Previously on the site was the much disliked and notorious waterfront IMAX building, demolished in 2013. Across the road to the left is a red and white building, the Bournemouth Pavilion, built in 1929. Although linked to the BIC, the pavilion is a smaller theatre, which also houses the Pavilion Dance, a centre of excellence that launched in 2010. Looking back out to sea, the furthest land to our left is the Needles.